All right, guys, I have a riddle for you. Why did Sony try to buy another camera company? Okay, Sony wanted to take the competition out of its picture. Huh? Good one. In today's video, we have rounded up what I think are the best cameras from Sony. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these cameras, you can check out the links in the description below. Sony made great havoc with the Alpha 3. Now it wants to follow the same footsteps with the Sony Alpha 7 IV. The a7 IV is the fourth generation of Core A7 full-frame mirrorless cameras and at the same time is the most advanced one yet, bringing to the table many improvements the previous models failed to deliver. Looks-wise, we can say it's a twin of the third, which makes sense why. It has the same design with straight edges and sharp corners also inherited the same interchangeable lens mount that supports Sony's lenses. The change, however, is spot on on the grip. Now it is larger to give us a better and solid hold. There are also a few button tweaks that Sony decided to move around with. Besides that, it's not much of a difference. On the top, we find the 3.68mm dot OLED viewfinder. And there's the side opening very angle LCD monitor with a touch support for a better fo uh, focusing experience. Under the hood, it employs the same Bion's XR image processor it uses on Sony's flagship A1. Pairing it with the beast of sensor, the 33 megapixel Exmor RCMOS, the sensor is full frame, back illuminated, marking a great upgrade from the 24.2 sensors in its brother. And as always, the uncanny autofocus is still there. But now even better, we can see a 30% improvement in human tracking and animal eye detection. As for video capture, it is capable of 4K at 60p, and there's also the full frame 7K at up to 30 FPS. As for battery life, it uses the same MP FZ100 cell we've seen on the A7 III and other recent Sony cameras. It has a side power rating of 580 shots. Next on the list, we have an all-in-one bridge camera from Sony, the Sony RX10 IV, and I have it listed as the best for sports. Sony's RX10 series has delivered us premium image quality for years now. Whether it is in the sports scene or wildlife photography and all that thanks to the long-range zoom lens and other packed features. Calculating all this, we can tell that Sony has made the RX10 IV appealing for really serious enthusiasts and experts. At first sight, it is nearly identical to its brother, the RX10 III. It is bridge style, but will give you the feeling of an SLR one. The body is black with mixed polycarbonate rubber and metal exterior. As always, the mostly come weather sealed, making them resistant enough to be used on rainy days and dusty environments. The front is dominated by a flexible 3-inch LCD monitor that is rated 1.44 million dots. It has touch capabilities, but I'm not going to lie, I've never seen better displays from Sony. It has touch capabilities, but I'm not gonna lie, I've seen better displays from Sony. But on another side, what I like the most is the high quality 0.49 inch OLED viewfinder with 2.4K million dots. Comments to Sony for the viewfinder upgrade since that's a thing a sports photographer will spend most of his time doing during the match. The RX10 IV packs a 20.1 megapixel Exmor RS sensor and a Beyond's X image processor. The killer feature here is the 1-inch sensor Sony stack technology that delivers faster performance than the competition sensors. Another plus is the autofocus system uses 315 phase detection making shutter lag now a thing in the past. As for the bursts, it easily shoots them at up to 24 fps. The camera captures videos of 4K at 30 fps and if you are happy with 1080p, you can capture them at 120 fps. Battery life is rated for 400 shots using the LCD and 370 shots, the viewfinder or 75 minutes of recording. Next on the list, we have the pocket-sized powerhouse, the Sony RX100 7 Premium, and I have it listed as the best point and shoot. The Sony RX100 is what we would refer to as the big dog of the point and shoot cameras, changing the game completely with its 8x lens along with an autofocus system that puts it on the same spot as the company's higher-end cameras. It might be a bit pricey for a point-and-shoot camera, but it easily backs it up with top-notch speed and features. It has a semi-matte black finish compared to other points-and-shoot. It isn't the slimmest and lightest one. Actually, it's a bit on the heavy side and all that because of the optics and construction that is more metal than plastic, but still won't have a problem sliding into a pocket. 
The camera sports a flexible LCD 3-inch monitor with 921K dot resolution and it does have touch control. Compared to the competition, the RX100 feels a bit more pro thanks to the OLED viewfinder even though it isn't as large as you get uh, on a mirrorless camera. Nevertheless, still gives you a decent view of your frame without any lag. It packs a larger sensor than the previous generations with 20 megapixels and a respectable 8.3 zoom gifting it fast shooting, uh, confident autofocus and decent video. It is capable of long bursting at 20 fps with continuous autofocus and all this in a pocket compact body. As per the video capture, the best quality remains the same at 4k with 30 fps. Battery life is on the average side, which is understandable. It rates to 260 stills and 40 minutes of video recording. Next on the list, a top choice for vloggers, we have the Sony Alpha ZV-E10, which is, of course, categorized it as best for vlogging. After vloggers had a great experience with the ZV-1, now it's time for them to upgrade to a better version that will most likely follow the same route of successes as his predecessor. This time, the ZV-E10 borrows part from the Alpha line of Sony and remixes them to suit vlogging at best. It comes in a compact build and it's really lightweight. You have the option to a choice between black and white colors, which both have a polycarbonated finish. What makes it better than its brother is the interchangeable lens design. It has a 3-inch LCD monitor widescreen that looks clear and it is quite responsive. It also has a very angled design that allows it to be flipped out and rotated up to 180 degrees, making it really useful for vlogging. The ZV-E10 can take 24.2 megapixel photos and can record 4K up to 30 FPS with a crop or without a crop at 24 FPS. When paired with a 60 to 50 millimeter kit lens, the photos come really crisp and clear in a good light. It is capable of bursting at 11 FPS. It also borrowed the legendary autofocus we spotted on the A6100 back in 2019. Pulling focus in just 0.02 seconds with the 425 point autofocus system. All I can say regarding the quality is it looks fantastic and stunning, definitely a dream for vloggers. Battery wise, it is powered by the MPFW50, which promised around 400 photos and 80 minutes of recording. It should take around 3 hours to fully charge it back with the on the go charger. And now last on the list, we have something great from the Alpha series, the Sony Alpha A6400, and I have it listed as the unbeatable value for the money. The Sony A6400 is a follow-up to the older well-known version, the A6300, which I really should commend Sony for the A6300. It dominated the industry for years now. The A6400 is chasing the same steps, with the main highlights the real-time eye autofocus and tracking autofocus. It is really compact and firm, making it a great traveling companion. It has a metal and plastic finish, its design makes it really easy to use and comfortable in hand. Also, it is weather sealed like its older brother, the A6300 and A6500, making it immune to rain and dust. The screen monitor is what I like a lot. It flips up through a full 180 degrees, to the point where you can easily see yourself and it is also touch sensitive. It comes with an electronic viewfinder with 100% field coverage. It uses the same 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor as the A6300, but with an improved autofocus performance now offering 0.02 seconds autofocus speed compared to its brother which was the 0.05 seconds. There's also AF tracking which holds onto moving objects and eye recognition and a 4K Ultra HD video recording that is unlimited. Battery-wise, Sony promises us 410 shots, but when using the electronic viewfinder, only 360 shots, which is reasonable. All right, guys, we came to the bottom of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you have any questions about the products mentioned in this video, you can leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until the next video, stay safe, take care, and peace out.